Right, well, now we have got Super Lucky's Tale, um, a game that was I saw a, a couple of years back when I went to EGX. It was an Oculus Rift game that was um, third person, which was really interesting because you were then the camera and you could then move your head to, to um I've got a feeling it was just called it. Lucky's Tale, wasn't it? And they've added the super bit yeah. for this. So I'm guessing they've un oculused it for Xbox. Yeah, um, it should be interesting. Cause I don't really know anything about it. I've not. It's a basic anything. sort of. Um, I'd say kind of like Spyro. So we're talking like Banjo Kazooie type platform. Yeah, like like the original, okay. like the 3D platformers. So we're going to hope this doesn't suck like Ugalele did. I'm so. I know that was it was it was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. Anyway, before we start crying, let's. Go into this video because I am go. interested. My interest is peaked. Oh, we didn't say it was exclusive. No. Man. It's just it's. They should make a, con a new Conquer's Bad Fur Day, is what they should make. Well, that's the problem with the rare, isn't it? Yeah. La, 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 la. Whenever I see an animated fox, my brain immediately goes to two tails. Mm. Um, like, just Ooh. looking at it. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah. This is I remember a, rightly, this is it was kind really of fun as well. It was one of the first times that I'd seen a VR game that was not first person, and I thought it was really well put together. I got, I, I got, so I got time for this. These kind of games, they're like you kind of, when you think about this sort of genre and these types of games, people just automatically go, "Oh, Mario, you know, Mario Galaxy, and yeah. Mario Odyssey, and stuff like that," but. It, Banjo Kazooie and Spyro and Crash and stuff like that. They were they were the games. Man. Yeah. And now this 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 has got a nice feel to it. And it again, really I, nice I do feel. like. And it was something very similar with uh, Sonic Generations as well. Is that you do have some that is uh, kind of like that 2.5D. Yeah. And then you do have the full full 3D. And switch between. And the characters. Yeah, very, like you can instantly become attached to them. I mean, look, I don't even like know who, who or what this <laughs> yeti-looking guy here is, but I already love him. He's definitely called Steve. That one in the back looked like a Keith. That's definitely Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Alan from accounting, why are you here? <laughs> I gotta say that looked good. That looked like see, fun. See, I can see that as a new generation mascot as well. Mm. See, because I had Sonic, and then after Sonic, you had uh, Crash. Well, Crash. Uh, oh, you could you could actually do it with the PlayStation, couldn't you? Because you yeah. had Crash, then you had Sackboy, and then you. Well, would you say Nathan Drake is? Yeah, definitely. This era is. is yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. Now he's the poster boy for this. This yeah. era. 100%. But that yeah. was that was a pretty cool video. As yeah. I said, I didn't not that I knew anything about Lucky's Tale, but Super Lucky's Tale looks like good fun. That's really good and fun. yeah, and with most of the platforms as well, you really didn't you didn't really need to know much about the story. Mm. It was all down to the gameplay and it looks unique on its own as well. It doesn't look like it's trying to copy any of the successes of previous no, platforms. No. It definitely it definitely felt well rounded, but I um I'd add that to my pile of games that might make me consider <laughs> <laughs> that pile of games that's slowly getting very large. So you got the Xbox One X, did you? Yes. How much did you spend? I mortgaged my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't spend anything because Microsoft is going to give us one to unbox a review. <laughs> there we go. There's the, uh, the normal video. Plug. There we Plug. go. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's in no heaven. Anyway. I enjoyed that. I think that might be the last Xbox trailer. There was watch. a lot of them. We um, did. We did do a lot. There was of them. a. That was a big. We may slug have missed a couple, ones, but I think we've probably so. done enough. 
Yeah, Xbox. I have to see what the others are like. So I've far, seen I've seen some sneaky bits of um, Nintendo as well. Well, mm. probably Mario Odyssey. Mm. Um, I haven't seen anything to to ruin my reaction, but yeah, uh, no, I am I am coloured intrigued. I, I think Nintendo, we should so. get round to those pretty quickly now because the others haven't got so many trailers to watch. I don't think. But okay. I well, got we so, to, so yeah. we've done EA, we've done Microsoft so far. What would you say, Microsoft or EA? See, I'm going to go with Microsoft just because of this last... This little what, session has been a good five, session. Five, yeah. six games? Yeah, we've had a good uh, few. And then the, the indie. Mm. Um, the whole indie segment as well. There was a, a whole load in there that I was interested in. Standout game for me, Sea of Thieves. Yes. The pirate game. Definitely from Microsoft's thing. Standout game from EA, A Way Out. Yeah. 100%. Definitely. Out of the two, I think... I think well, oh, that's really difficult. Be, See well, if, things, a way out, if, it, if it's that co-op that we think it's going to be, then that would that be will really have awesome. infinite play value. Yeah, it would be awesome. But a way out, the way that they've done the co-op and the sizes just, of just things the way changing. That you, you've got your own game, mm. yeah, but it's co-op at the same time. It, it, is it, it could be the game on. that finally defines co-op co-op really. story. Yeah, co-op story. Co-op story. And each individual. It's no longer no just story. a bolt-on because. Yeah. Just too few gaming studios do do a good co-op game. I, yeah. I mean, uh, Crackdown Three as well, actually. If that, yeah. If that, Terry has Crews. A good... Shout out to Terry Crews. He was awesome. <laughs> I love you, Terry. <laughs> hey, if you want to go out and grab a beer, Terry, yeah, we're down. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're down. If you ever, you ever in Essex. <laughs> so never. So never. Hey, oh. you never know. He's the kind of guy that might see this and be like, "I'm gonna go hang out with the nerd bros." Uh, yeah. so, That'd be pretty cool. We're, 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 we're free. Whenever we're free, <laughs> we're, let's go. We're, we're, we'll drink. Oh, we're out drink you. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> well, we could do, because he's just nothing but muscle, whereas we've got fat to put the uh, the <clears> alcohol <throat> into. <laughs> I love a drink. Anyway. Right. That's well, it. We're done. It's over. That's Xbox done. Yeah. That's, that's all sorted. We hope you've enjoyed these videos as hopefully you should have seen we've had well this is our third sort of session in the studio now isn't it and we've every time got a little bit more yeah, we need a bit more special. lighting um mm. but that's something that's going to come up that. eventually um, we've we've changed the layout we, probably we're getting around better. here i think yeah i think the light needs to because it was yeah. when this screen goes white it's very very nice yeah it is so um oh look that's my alarm oh we're, very oh, we're done we're done we're done so uh no boys out <laughs> See you, See you later. next time.